Hi guys, it's Madison again. Um, sorry I look a little uh, not great right now. I had way too many white claws yesterday. So I try to spruce up a little bit, but this is just what we're working with and that's fine. A couple hours ago there was just cake in my hair, so I just threw a clip in it. And when I straightened it, it smelled like a cake. <laughs> So that was great. Anyway, um, I subscribed to Fabletics a couple months ago. Um, I just really didn't have any good leggings that fit me anymore, and I was starting to work out more, and I just needed some new clothes, and that two for 24 deal was haunting my dreams. So I decided to take the plunge and order some stuff. Um, I just got my second order the other day, so I was like, tell people what it's really like before you decide if you want to subscribe or not. So for those of you who don't know, Fabletics is like a workout clothing brand company that um, Kate Hudson co-founded and they have um, like really nice quality, um, what do they call it? Like when you can't see your butt cheeks. Why did I do that for butt cheeks? I don't like it. Like, you can't see your underwear through them, which is, like, my huge thing. And they're just supposed to be really nice, and they're cute, and they're always partnering with people like Demi Lovato and stuff. And I was like, fine, I'll do it. I'll do the two for 24 bull****. So I got my first order. It comes with, like, this little thing, and it tells you all about what they have, the different, um, what different kinds of sports bras they have, the different types of materials they use for different leggings. So... Which I also think is nice that like they have really high compression ones, they have low compression ones for just like hanging out and yoga, and they have ones for like suck y'all in. So the first order that I made, I got the um I have the tag still. The high waisted power holds. Should I put my hand behind it like an influencer? This is the tag. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, the high waisted power holds seven eighths. The seven eight is the length of the pants, so they're not full length, but they're not um, capris. I get the seven eighths because I'm so short that they're the perfect full length pants on me. I'm five feet tall and they hit right around my ankles because um, regular full length leggings. I have to like, like this much bunched up fabric in any given place at any given time. So I got two pairs of just the same kind because I heard that the power holds were the best and um, they retail for $69.95. I think that's the price without the two for 24 obviously and um, if you're not a VIP member because you can just shop at Fabletics. You don't have to buy the VIP membership, but then you just pay these prices. So I got two $70 pair of leggings for $24, which is how they suck you in. I, I should talk about the membership first, actually. So yeah, these prices are literally insane. Um, I'm going to show you a sports bra in a few minutes that costs $65. Um, if you're not a part of the membership. So basically the VIP membership is, what is it, $49.95, it's $50, $49.95. And then you get, that's how you get the two for 24, which I believe is only for your first order. I don't think it ever comes back. So take advantage of that and get the most expensive leggings. So then beyond that, um, like these prices will be up to 50% off every single time you shop being a VIP member. And um, it doesn't really cost to be a member. You pay $49.95, but you get $49.95. Um, like last month is the only month so far that I have forgotten to skip. So they charge you the $49.95 and then it sits in your account and you can spend it whenever you want. So, I mean, that's basically how they get you. They're just counting on the fact that you're going to forget every once in a while and shop, which is genius. 
So I'm usually pretty good at skipping um, when you log on to Fabletics and get into your account. There'll be like a badge at the top, like with your name, VIP status, how many points you have. And then I believe it's like from the first of the month to the fifth of the month, there'll be a button that just says skip this month. And all you do is push it and then of course they're gonna try and get you to not. They're gonna be like, are you sure you wanna skip? Look at all these outfits we picked for you. And like, yeah, I'm sure I wanna skip, I'm broke. And then that's easy. And then um, you're just gonna do it again every month. So I did it because I was like, I'll just skip every month. I just need a couple new pairs of leggings and I can't pass up getting $70 leggings for $12 because I'm cheap. So what happened? I finally forgot to skip. So they just charge you and it sits in your account and never expires. You don't have to spend it right when they charge you. You can just go back and shop whenever you want. So that's the membership. And, um, I believe in the past it was pretty difficult to cancel. You had to like call the hotline and I'm sure they did the same thing. Like, are you sure you want to cancel? Blah, 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 blah. But um, now you can just cancel right on the live chat. So if you're really, really not in to the whole membership thing, if you know you're going to forget to skip way too much, you can just do the 24 and then go to their um, online chat and cancel there and be completely done. Okay, so that's the membership. So the first order, like I said, I got the two Fabletics high-waisted Power Hold 7 8s. They're super high compression. What do they say? Moisture wicking, always stretch, comp st <laughs> stretch compression <laughs> fabric, chafe free, high rise waist with slimming power, high rise waist. What is wrong with me? It's the white claws. High rise waist with slimming power mesh lining for compression. I will say these snatch you like it just holds everything i i love them so i got them in this maroon purple color and i got them in black um i'm just gonna show you the maroon color because the black ones are downstairs in the laundry and i don't feel like walking down there so this is what they look like they all have like the little reflective fabletics thing um the key card pocket is in the front it's just like a little tiny packet um, power hold. So when I first got these, um, I had a friend who had Fabletics before, so I asked her what size I should get because I like my leggings to be a little tighter. I just, loose leggings are really annoying when they're not supposed to be. So she told me to get the small, so I did. I'm five pounds. I would have been like around 140 pounds when I ordered these. I'll just tell you, I don't care. So you can get the right size. Double chin alert. So this is what they look like when they came. They were, they looked so tiny. They look like they're for American Girl dolls. But um, they stretch a lot and then they're gonna stretch with normal wear. So over time, they're not, that's like, they were like this big, I swear. But anyways, so they stretch really good and like, I can't grab it. Like they're not see-through, like at all. Which is like my main thing. They are, um, the fabric is very thin, which some people might not like. I prefer them a little thin because I sweat a lot. So like, they're kind of see-through down at the bottom when I stretch it to like as far as it'll go, which won't happen at the top, but um, it's just a very thin fabric. So it is good for working out and it's good. Like you won't get too hot working out and you won't get too hot um, just wearing them in general. Um, super, super high compression from top to bottom. Just everything is tight. So, um, if you don't like that tightness feeling, I would not, not get the power holds, but, um, I wanted something that would suck in my stomach, 
for when I wear them casually like out and stuff with t-shirts my friend always wears them and like she just always looks so tiny so I just wanted something that would suck me in a little bit um when I worked out the top rolled a little like like just like that much but they're very high on me because I'm short and um they're still a little too small so I just think it's the combination of my shortness the wrong size and how I was um, working out pretty hard so they did roll a little um I have a pair of Lululemons over here to grab just to compare I wish you could feel it because they're so different these are um I don't know what kind of Lululemons these are I did not buy them from the store because I am not a millionaire and also I'm pretty sure that guy is a racist so I should get rid of them anyway but um these are the Lululemon ones I have. They have, they're like, they feel cottony. I don't know any fabrics, but they have like pilling a little bit, like where the legs rub together and stuff. Like that, these are the Lululemons. And the fabric is so, I could never work out in these. The fabric is so heavy. I want to sweat putting my arm in here right now. Oh, let's see. These are a little see-through also, but just like the fabric is completely different. Like these are much more of like a, these feel like lounging leggings. I just, I don't know, man. They're so hot. <laughs> so you really can't tell the difference in the fabric. You might be able to tell how thick that is compared to how thin that is. They're just a lot thicker. But like, I, I have no idea what ones these are. Um, so those are those ones compared to that. Honestly, if I had to pick between, I would definitely pick the Fabletics. I'm sure, well, I'm not sure. I think Lululemons are way more expensive even if you don't have the membership. So if you're already paying $110 for Lululemon leggings and you don't want a membership, you could still go on Fabletics and get these ones, which I think are way better for $70. Like I said, this is just me. I know some people who love Lululemon, they go crazy over it. I just thought those are way too thick. So those were the power holds. They have a um, little design, a little, oh, the black ones look exactly the same, but they're uh, black. So yeah, those were the power hold seven eighths, which are supposed to come, I think, to mid shin on um, people that are normal human sized but I'm very short so they fit as perfect full-length leggings okay so now I'm gonna show you what I ordered this month when I forgot to skip so they charged me the $49.95 I remembered you have to skip by the fifth and I remembered like on the sixth I was like you know what whatever guess I'll just get a new outfit then because they already have the money okay so I ordered a pair of leggings and a sports bra and I got them both for $67 so I paid 17 after the money that they already took out, which is how like that VIP, you can see how they rope you into it now because like I said, those power holds were $69.99 retail and I got two items for $67 and they're really good. So I will show you those now. I'll show you this one because I have already worn it so I know how it works. I got the Ella Impact high impact sports bra um it's kind of floppy like the back straps aren't that stiff but um it's got like a little cross this band is very like it's very hard to stretch it's a little tight on me I got a small um I just love front zip things because it because I'm lazy and it eliminates the step of having to do it the other way so but what's cool about it is when you unzip it, it's got a little thing so your boobs don't fly out. And then it's got um, two hooks inside for extra hold, like two bra clamps. Like that. And um, it's, I honestly thought High Impact was going to be very stiff. I have an Under Armour sports bra that is like the whole thing is like this. And you have to like 
squeeze your arms up into it. Um, so I was kind of surprised when I got it by how floppy it was, but um, the band really does do its job at holding everything really well. And um, that was $64.95 if you didn't have the membership. Um, high support, always stretch, removable cups, cut out back design. The Ella High Support Zip Front Sports Bra is what that was. I'm just not that picky with sports bras, so I don't know if I would have had bought this if it wasn't was matched up with the leggings I picked out and I thought it was cute and I never really buy sports bras. I buy these from Costco. It's a two pack for $15. And um, just to compare, I'll take it out. Like this one is, I just don't care. These work perfectly fine for me. This one is cool and it's fun. If I ever have super high waisted leggings and I can just wear that, um, it would be cute because I really wouldn't ever do that with these ones. So it was just something fun and different I got. Um, I really like it actually. And for the leggings, I got something different. Um, these, I have not worn these or taken the tag off yet. Um, I'm gonna go try them on in a second. These are, oh, <laughs> the tag is still attached. These are the Trinity High Waisted Utility Leggings. These are $89.95. I honestly thought the power holds were the most expensive leggings, but apparently that is not true. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I opened up the mail and I saw they were $90 because I got them for $40.61 with the VIP membership. So I like the little fanbletics thing. Um, these are literally insane. They're like the cargo pants of leggings. They're the Motion 365. I think that's one of the fabric options. Yeah, Motion 365 is one step below power hold. So it's high compression with breathability. Anyway, these things are insane. They have a zipper back pocket like that. They have a side pocket, a mesh side pocket. This feels really tight. Um, they have a side zipper pocket and the bottoms also, um, literally, these are the cargo pants of leggings. So they look really tiny. I got a small again, just because the power holes were small and they fit well enough. Yeah, side mesh pocket, side zip pocket, back pocket, ankle zippers, moisture whisking whisking. Oh, I already did that. So these are also feel thin like the power holds, like they won't get too hot. So they look a little smaller, like a centimeter skinnier than the power holds it looks like. Very small. But with the zip, I just really don't know how that works. When would you ever unzip your ankles? Anyway, so I got both of those for $67 with my VIP membership and it was, I still had my birthday discount, which I think it was 10%. I don't know, it took off $7. So I'm gonna go try these on and then we can wrap this up. Okay, so I tried them on, I'm wearing them right now. And honestly, I think I like them more than the power holds. It's still, they're very high-waisted. They're coming up to like here. Um, they still hold in a perfect amount, but it doesn't feel as tight and constricting. Um, that really good breathability, really good movability. They're not the 7.8s, the regular length, so they're a little too long on me. The zipper ankle thing is still weird. I don't understand. I thought the zippers would be irritating on, but you really can't even feel them. Anyway, in conclusion, I definitely think Fabletics is worth it. Um, it's so easy to skip a month. So even if you want to take advantage of the VIP thing twice a year, it's very worth it. You just have to remember to skip. I can't imagine someone spending $50 every month. <laughs> I actually pulled up my order so I can try and show you. This is what it looks like when you get on there, and this is where that skip will be when it's available. Um, and then when you get on, they have outfits picked out. You can buy full outfits or the pieces. They have a bunch of little different shops over here. 
They sell shoes, leggings, sweaters, t-shirts, hair ties, headbands. They have a men's shop now. Honestly, I just really like it. And it did take me a long time to sign up just because I thought it was so stupid and I can't ever remember to skip something. So I didn't want to be spending $50 a month on leggings. But um, they make it so easy to skip. And I set a reminder on my phone and my laptop on the first of every month and it'll pop up and I'll just go and I'll hit skip. And then that'll be that. And then sometimes if you forget to skip, it's like a little gift from yourself to yourself. Like, I guess I'm getting uh, new leggings. So anyway, I hope this was a little helpful if you're trying to decide whether or not to do it. So um, if you have any questions on anything else, comment below and I'll try to answer them. Um, I'll try and link everything below. I'll link my Fabletics thing below if you want to sign up for a VIP membership. I think it gets you a deal and it gets me a deal. But if you don't like me and you don't want me to get deals, just type in fabletics.com on your home browser. Um, it's totally worth it in my opinion. Um, for the price of workout gear, athleisure wear, all that stuff, it's all insane anyway. So I like having everything in one place that I know is good and the only drawback is the membership which will put a lot of people off but I think it's worth it and if you even if you don't get the membership just remember that you can go on there and you can shop at these insanely expensive prices so yeah uh comment if you have any questions or if you have any favorite fabletics items that you think I should order next time I forget to skip or anything else really don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and thank you I'm gonna go not work out my workout gear thanks to the white cloths and the lemonade trulies and the champagne and the frosting in my hair that I try to straighten out <laughs>